Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have some more Tumbling Tower Block DIYs for you guys. And I start off with this wooden plank that I got from Dollar Tree and I already put a hook on the back with some hot glue, twine and a popsicle stick. And all I'm doing is drawing an S with a pencil and you can do this with, well you could draw any letter you like. Um, I start gluing on the tower blocks in the shape of the S with the Dollar Tree super glue wood glue. And with this this and if you do it this way you can make the letters more curvy and they will all turn out nice. And I did one end and then I did the other and I just had to space out a um, tiny wee bit in the middle so that the tower blocks would fit. Off camera I painted it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then I just glued in some uh, Spanish moss and some succulents. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys an easier way to make the letters with the tower blocks. For this next DIY I made two squares with 12 blocks in them. And then I made, for some reason I made seven, but I meant to only make six. And it's just joining the two um, blocks together. So yeah, they're just two blocks joined at the ends and there's only supposed to be six there. And then I made eight so yeah, that's when I realised <laughs> I made eight squares of three blocks. So yeah, I didn't join them all up. Off camera I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and I also made, I also stained some other blocks in a set of 6, 16, 26 and then 36. So here I'm just putting one of the bigger squares down and then either side I'm adding two of the blocks and then on the other opposite sides, adding two more and then just stacking them up and then I put, then I glue the top on oh that's where I'm, I was supposed to be telling you how many's in it <laughs> so I just take one of the set of three blocks that I already glued together earlier and then I just stack these up the same way 
And this one has um, is five blocks high. This one is ten blocks high. And the next one is fifteen blocks high, and then twenty blocks high. And I show you these two, and then I do the other two off camera. And here's one way of styling them and then another way you could always make another three for the other side but this is i just thought i would set them out like this and i just put some little candles i got from amazon on the top and i think they turned out really cute so i'm making a letter c and i know some people have been asking for more letters so <laughs> I will try and make one for every video or maybe a couple for every video and then just keep adding them in. So I'll just set out the letter C like this and then yeah just keep putting the blocks where yeah I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> This is me just figuring out where I'm going to put them all. Okay, this is what I decided on. You can always pause the video and see exactly how the blocks go. And then I just start gluing them on the front like this. And you could just make two C's if you wanted, but if you want it to match it up better, then because all the blocks are not the same size, it's easier just to do it like this. And I just painted it with some blue paint. Well, I paint, painted the paint on and then I rubbed off the excess. And then I decorated with some adhesive rhinestones from Dollar Tree. For this next DIY, you need 10 rows and you need two of each and it goes from one block up into 10 blocks. <laughs> and then you just start with the biggest one, which is 10, then glue 9, then 8, all the way down to 1. And then repeat the same thing with the remaining blocks and you end up with this. And then all I do is join them together. And then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then it's just like a little riser. You can put, I put this little blue vase thing I got from Dollar Tree but you could put whatever you wanted on it and then this next DIY I set out the bricks in a row of five but I actually that's wrong but I'll show you later how I fixed it and then I just cut one in half with this we saw that I got from Amazon and I started the next row And then put the other half on the other side of that row and then yeah some of them don't fit very well so you just have to swap them out and then the third row i just did the whole blocks and then the next row i cut the piece i cut the end pieces and i just kept repeating that pattern 
and I can't remember how many that I did <laughs> in the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I needed it to be longer, so I just kept swapping them out like this. And then all I had to do is cut another block for the end. And then once I'd set it all out like this, I then glued it all together. And you don't have to do this pattern. You could just put the, the blocks together in straight lines without cutting the pieces if you don't have anything to cut them with. And then I made four of the pieces that I made in the last DIY. And then I just glue one on each side. And it looks complicated but it was quite, didn't take that long and was easy to do. And I just stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And if you have it this way round, you can just fill it with some Spanish moss and some succulents like I did. You can always paint it another colour. Or you could always make the triangle part and make it on the top and the bottom. This way I'm making it as a tray. Yeah, let me know which one of these DIYs is your favourite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.